Tallinn, the capital of Estonia, is one of Europe's most charming capitals and tourist destinations. Situated on the Baltic Sea coast and crisscrossed with cobblestone streets and medieval buildings, Tallinn offers visitors stunning views and plenty of things to do. Estonians are known to be friendly and welcoming, making visiting their capital one of the most enjoyable travel experiences out there. Here are the best places you should visit in Tallinn, Estonia in 2023. City Mall The City Mall is a great place to shop for clothes and other items. It's close to the Tompia Hill, which has amazing views of the Seaplane Harbour Estonia Maritime Museum. The Halman Tower and City Wall are historical attractions that make for a great day trip from Tallinn. If you want to see more of Estonia's beautiful architecture, then check out St. Mary's Cathedral or Town Hall. If you want to explore more of Tallinn, then stop by Rotermann Quarter or Teleskivi Creative City. Freedom Square Erected in 1923 as a monument of gratitude for the Estonian people's liberation from Soviet occupation, Freedom Square is a major tourist attraction. Here you will find the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral and the House of the Parliament. It is also home to a statue of Lenin that was erected during Soviet occupation but removed after independence and replaced with a statue of Estonian poet Christian Rod. In front of this square, you can visit a memorial site commemorating those who died in World War II. Look out for the iconic building that has remained unchanged since 1903 the Tumpi Castle which houses many museums including exhibitions about the country's history and art. Also near this square is Kadri Org Park where you can take some time out by relaxing on one of its scenic walking paths or enjoying one of its many sculptures. Kadri Org Park This beautiful park is situated just a few minutes walk from the Estonian Parliament building and the President's house. It was designed by Peter Ludwig von Ilking and was built in 1807. This is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Tallinn. There are many trees and plants including a huge linden tree which provides shade for the visitors. In summer there are open-air concerts and other events held here, as well as a jogging track. In winter Kadri Org Park becomes an ice skating rink with floodlights. Visitors can rent skates or bring their own if they have them. After skating people can warm up by drinking hot chocolate at the cafe that has been set up near the ice rink. In springtime, the rose garden comes into bloom, and it makes for a perfect place to spend time with friends or family on sunny days. Hill of Angels, Angels Hill The Hill of Angels is a site steeped in history and legend. As the story goes, one night during the Soviet era a group of Estonian women were hanging out at the hill when they were accosted by some Russian soldiers. Locals say that on clear nights you can see their shadows moving around on the hill slopes. In more recent times this place has become a gathering spot for youths who party late into the night, risking ghostly encounters. On certain days at noon, if the wind is blowing just right, it sounds like people singing. St. Mary's Cathedral In the heart of the old town stands St. Mary's Cathedral, a Gothic cathedral built in the 13th century. This is one of Tallinn's most important landmarks and is worth a visit for its stained glass windows and medieval atmosphere. Visitors can climb up the narrow staircase that leads to the top of the tower where they can enjoy views over old town. It is also possible to see an exhibition on crypts or take a guided tour which lasts around an hour. You should know that this attraction has limited opening hours and tickets must be booked in advance. Song Festival Grounds The Song Festival Grounds is one of the many sites worth visiting while you are in Tallinn. It is a place with a lot of history and memories. It is also a place where Estonians come together to celebrate their freedom and independence. Located on Tamsar Park, this public space offers a lot of green space for relaxation as well as many great photo opportunities. Visitors can enjoy an open-air concert or watch children play on the playgrounds. Another popular event that happens at the Song Festival grounds is called Happiness Happens Here which is a festival where people dance around tents to live music and interact with artsy vendors. Another favorite spot in this area is the Lenin Monument, which has some beautiful views of surrounding areas like Tumpi Hill. Maritime Museum the Maritime Museum of the Estonian Maritime Museum Association is located on Kulisepa and was opened in 1936. It is the oldest museum of its kind and one of the best-known museums in Tallinn. Its collection includes model ships, models of shipyards, photographs and paintings related to shipping, navigation aids, objects from shipwrecks found in Estonian waters etc. Founded by Karl Ernst von Baer, 1792-1876, to it was originally called the Ethnographical Society Museum. The first exhibitions were held in 1884. Von Baer's successor Friedrich Robert Fellman, 1844-1907, turned the Ethnographical Society into a research institute which made him an important figure in German ethnography and anthropology at the turn of the century. Tumpi Castle, 
also known as Raqqa al Mer Castle. Located on Tumpi Hill, this castle has been the seat of the Estonian government since independence. It is also one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city and it offers excellent views over the old town. The central square between the basilica and the cathedral is called Freedom Square and features a fountain with a statue of St. Christopher carrying Jesus across a river. There are many other places to visit in Tallinn such as Seaplane Harbour, Old Town Hall Square, Kadriorg Park, Parita Convent Ruins and some museums. If you're looking for something unique then try taking the self-guided walking tour from Kadriaru Park that leads you through the major attractions in downtown Tallinn. You will be able to see all of them without paying for any entrance fees. Kumu Art Museum Kumu is one of the most popular museums in Tallinn, and it holds a large collection of Estonian art. It's located on Reykoja Platz and is open Tuesday through Sunday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. They have a cafe and restaurant that's very reasonably priced, which has views of the bay. There are many places in this museum that you won't be able to miss. There are sculptures by Edward Krupp, paintings by Nikolai Trajek, sculptural ceramics by Olav Neuland and Mikael Mutso. I recommend checking out their gallery as well it displays some of their finest pieces. The Museum of Occupations and Freedom Fights One stop you can't skip when visiting Tallinn is the Museum of Occupations and Freedom Fights. It's the largest museum in Estonia and dedicated to documenting the Soviet occupation from 1940 to 1991 and the struggle for independence after 1991. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral The most famous landmark of the city is Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. It was built on the site where a temple dedicated to the pagan god Perun once stood. In 1240, construction began on the cathedral as a sign of gratitude for deliverance from a Swedish invasion. The current building was completed in 1894 and is considered one of the finest examples of Russian church architecture. Inside are 10 paintings by Fyodor Rokotov and 14 stained glass windows by Yevgeny Churigin. Outside are four sculptures by Mikhail Mikshin representing the four evangelists, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Estonian Open Air Museum, Estonian Countryside Museum. Located at Hopsalu's former manor park, the Estonian Open Air Museum, Estonian Countryside Museum, is a sprawling outdoor museum where visitors can explore vernacular farm buildings and traditional dwellings built before the Second World War. At the end of the visit, you can return to one of the most popular tourist attractions in Estonia, Hopsalu Castle. Here you will find towers and other medieval-style architecture from the 12th century, including what is left of the original stonework. There are also exhibitions on castle life from the medieval era. You can also take a guided tour or learn more about it by viewing an audio guide with headphones. Guides are available in English, German, French, and Russian. We hope this list has been helpful. If you are planning a visit to our fair city and have any more questions about the places listed or anything else we didn't cover, let us know and we will get back to you as soon as possible. We wish you a happy stay in Tallinn. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next one.